Hi everyone, I'm Andy Anderson and I wanted to take a few minutes to shoot a video for you today about the importance of thinking about what you're thinking. So today's video is all about why is it so important to start thinking about how we're thinking, right? So the reason this is so important is because if you're not actually thinking about how you're thinking, then you're on autopilot. And many of us in life, after a certain number of years on this planet, turn on our autopilot switch and then we never think about how we're thinking. We never think about what thoughts we're having. We never shed the light of awareness on the thoughts that are coming into our head at any given time. We just turn on that autopilot switch and we actually become the thoughts that we're thinking or we think we're becoming the thoughts that we're thinking. So why is it so important to start thinking about how you're thinking? Well, if you're not thinking about how you're thinking, then you are on this autopilot switch and you're going through your life and you're not taking a step back to ask yourself, well, what does this thought mean? And where is this thought coming from? And is this what I really want? And who is actually bringing this thought to me? Where is it coming from? It is so important to take a look at this because like I shoot in, in all of my videos, I often talk about the voice of the ego. Right? The voice of the ego is the voice that tries to get us to limit ourselves, that floods us with thought of limitation, with thoughts of I'm not good enough, I'll never make it, or I could never become an entrepreneur, or I'm not smart enough, I'm not confident enough, I could never get that job of my dreams, I could never move to the beach, I could never move to the mountains, I could never move to Australia, to Peru, to wherever. And these are all thoughts that or are being thought by your ego. And if you're not aware of that's where they're coming from and aware of who they're coming from, then you live into those thoughts. You think they're you. You take them on as your own and then no, you'll never become an entrepreneur and you'll never get that job of your dreams and you'll never move to the beach or Peru or the mountains. You are becoming those thoughts of limitation. But my big message for you today is if you start thinking about how you're thinking, then there's a way out. If you start thinking about how you're thinking and who's doing that thinking through you, you're becoming aware. You're shining the light of awareness on those thoughts. You're shining the light of awareness on the egoic thought system or the ego, I like to call it. And another question for you is, okay, so let's say you're becoming aware of a thought. You're becoming aware of a thought of, well, I always dreamed of becoming a professional speaker. But now I'm having this thought of, you know what, actually I really don't want to do that. Like it's a dream, but it's, it's never going to happen for me. It's not feasible. It's not practical. So where is this thought coming from? Start thinking about how you're thinking. Where is it coming from? And is it really you? Is it actually you thinking this thought or is it the voice of the ego trying to limit you, trying to sabotage your life, trying to hold you back, keep you safe from all the risks you could take if you became a professional speaker, really keeping you away from happiness, keeping you away from fulfillment. So ask yourself this question, who are you when you're observing that thought? Who are you when you're observing a thought from the ego? If you're actually shining the light of awareness saying, wow, I just had a thought that I could never become a professional th speaker, even though that's my lifelong dream. If you're observing this thought, then who is the one observing it? Who are you if you're observing that thought? That's a little something to take a look at, right? If you are not this thought, you have the choice to become this thought or not by paying attention to it, by giving it power or whatever. But if you're just observing it over here, taking a look at this thought over here, then who are you? This is an interesting question. So, you know, I like to think of it as there's the voice of the ego, there's that voice of limitation, and then there's who I really am and who you really are, which is the voice of inspiration, the voice of the universe, God, whatever you want to call it. And just taking a look at who are you choosing to be in every single moment? Are you choosing to become the voice of limitation and the ego? Or are you choosing to follow inspiration, follow intuition, follow your passion, follow your joy, follow your love in your life, right? Who are you choosing to be at every moment? So this is the importance of starting to think about how you're thinking. And also to start asking the question, if you're having various thoughts, who is doing that thinking? Who is thinking that through you? Is it the voice of inspiration, universe, your higher good, your higher purpose? 
Or is it the voice of the ego, of limitation, of sabotage? Who is doing the thinking? And are you paying attention to who's doing the thinking and who is thinking that thought through you? So again, this is a very important topic because the number one most important thing to start doing if you're interested in becoming aware of your thinking and your thoughts is to shine the light of awareness on your thoughts and to pinpoint where are they coming from. Does it intuitively feel like you truly don't now want to become a professional speaker because there's all these risks involved? Is that actually what your intuition or inspiration or the universe is telling you what to do or guiding you to do? Or is that the voice of the ego trying to keep you back, keep you from happiness, keep you from that amazing joy and fulfillment in your life that you could have if you followed your dream? So who will you choose to listen to? Again, I'm Andy Anderson, and if you're on my website right now, avaya.com, please scroll down and leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Ask me a question, ask me to expand on this video, and I would love to interact with you below in the comment section. If you are on Facebook, please share this message with someone that needs this message today. Tag a friend if you're inspired. And hey, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you again next week and have a great rest of your day.